The technology to fix Fukushima does not exist. We got an extension of that, and this is gonna this is gonna blow up in everybody's face over the next. At the end of this year, there ain't gonna be no whales left here in British Columbia, Canada. Everything that showed up on the coastline died. Everything died. It's dead. Everything is emaciated, and every other species is the exact same way. But, and the documentation coming out of these extinction events is very vast and very encompassing of all the species. And that we document the whole coastline. Like me going and taking pictures of the entire coastline in Canada, you can't ask for a better study than that. That shows the symmetrical look at the entire coastline of Canada. And, you know, if it's not here, it's not there, it's not there, it's not there, it's not here, it's not here, it's the entire coastline. That means it's gone. It's All people have bad. to do, Dana, is go type in Google Mass Animal Deaths 2016. You want to know what yeah, was reported today? Uh, a, a ton of shrimp, one ton of shrimp and other fish have died in a pond in Phuket, Thailand. Massive die off of fish, an environmental disaster in the waters of Magdalena, Colombia. Well, uh, yeah. 200,000 well, fish have died in farms in Taipei, Malaysia, in a farm. Yesterday, 50 dolphins found stranded. 10 dead on the beach in Campbell, Panama. They're all dying in South America. See, the odds of having one on the be- uh, two on the beach is very, uh, the numbers are really, really way out there. The odds of having three die on one beach is extraordinary. The odds of having 50 on the beach is, it, there is no odds. Right, right. that's just, right? hundreds of yeah. fish die in a lake. The whole lake is dead in Alberta, Canada. Right. I mean, this is going on around wow. the world, and this is every day, like, just, okay, so if you go to, this is April 22nd, if I scroll down, you cannot imagine, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, there's a, I would say there's at least 150 entries from the beginning of this year, I mean, Four, 400 tons of fish died on January 27th. Scrolling up, 700,000 birds killed. Uh, and this is interesting. They always call it the avian flu in Kurdistan on February 3rd. Scrolling up. I mean, just 167,000 birds killed the avian flu in Katsina Soko. This is what they're calling avian flu. It's not avian flu, folks. It is nuclear pollution in the air that's killing these birds and in the ocean that's killing the animals. I to see this day and I say it is true that you are indeed a privileged people. For I say you are privileged to know of me. You are privileged to live in me. You are privileged to partake of me. Now I say if you consider the endless multitudes who are born, who live and die and perish in sin with no knowledge of me, I say you are a privileged people. But I say with that privilege comes responsibility, comes accountability. For I say there are multitudes who do not know of me. There are multitudes who have never heard my name. There are multitudes who have no knowledge at all of my mercies. And I say it is the obligation, the responsibility of those who are privileged to make known the knowledge of me, to make known the call that I give to the sons of men to repent, to return to me, to walk uprightly in me. Now I say, consider that it is me, the living God, who is the enduring strength. It is me, the living God, who is the stronghold of safety. It is me, the living God, who is the rock of refuge. It is me, the living God, who is the abundance of life. I say, consider when you are dependent and reliant upon me, that you are brought forth by me, for I will bring thee forth. And I say that I will give unto thee such as you need to be ever guided, to be ever directed and corrected and instructed by me. Now I say you are living in times when I, the living God, am quite obviously manifesting my sore displeasure with the sons of men. That is because of the wickedness, the darkness, the evil that they persist and insist in living in. And I say because they have chosen such ways, they have chosen their own darkness, they have chosen their own iniquity, they have chosen their own corruption. And I say that I, the living God, am sorely displeased in them. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to walk in a way that is far from me. I do not call you to keep company with those who are corrupted. But I call you to walk uprightly. I call you to be separated unto me. And I say that I call you to declare my truth to a sin-sick world. For I say it is me, the living God, and me alone that men are needy of, that they need to obey and follow after. And I say, when my words of life are given, it is that men would hear and obey me, that they could be uplifted and brought forth in me as they repent. For I say that my purpose is not to destroy men, but rather that they would be saved. 
But I say when men will stubbornly, proudly resist, refuse my call, my purpose, where do they go? I say they go in the way of the damned, they go in the way of the fools, and I say they go in the way of their own destruction. Now consider that it is me, the living God, who does move by the power of my spirit for mercy and likewise for wrath. For I say that my mercy is given to the ones who will believe me, trust me, and obey me. But I say that my mercies are withheld from the rebellious, the proud, the defiant, who insist and persist they have their way. For I say when men and women are persisting and insisting in their way, I say they are literally invoking my wrath. And I say they are inviting to themselves damnation of soul. I say that I, the living God, do not call you to damnation of soul, but I say that I call you to the way of my life, the way of my truth, and the way of my mercy. And I say that I call you to be thankful that each and every day you can be uplifted, you can be directed, you can be guided, and you can be given the hope that I provide. For I say when you truly consider that it is me, the living God, who is the abundance of life, and you partake of that life, then I say that you live. But I say when you likewise turn aside to any other God, any other lover, you turn to death. Now I say there are two ways that are given, the way of life and truth and hope and mercy. And I say there is the way of death and destruction and damnation forever. And I say that men choose in this life what it is that they will have. And I say when men will truly repent, they are brought in out of the death. And I say they are found in my life. For I say it is me, the living God, who is ever present in my mercy. And I say that I give the beckoning, the call to any and all who will hear and obey. But I say likewise, I give the call to those who disobey. And I say they are condemned by their own disobedience. Now I say this day there is no man that can stand and accuse me and claim that I am not just nor fair in all that I do. For I say that I, the living God, am full of fairness towards the sons of men. But I say it is men who bring to themselves their own sorrows and utterly corrupt their own souls. And I say it is because they choose the way of death, the way of darkness, rather than the way of my life. And I say it is because they are losing, because they have opposed me. I say do not live in opposition to me, but I say bring your thoughts into captivity, subjectivity unto me. For I say you are not meant to be covered by the grouchiness of rebellion, but I say you are meant to be covered by the joy of obedience. For I say when you truly will seek to be pleasing unto me and walking in my way, then I say you are in obedience unto me. And yes, you are given the blessedness, the truth, the light upon the path, for I the living God am present to give to you the same. Now I say this day counted a privilege to be uplifted, to be ever guided, to be directed by me. And I say counted a privilege to be a partaker of that which I give unto you time and again. For I say it is me, the living God, who gives to you the light, the life, the strength, the hope, the mercy day by day. And it is me, the living God, who gives to you the pathway wherein you are guided each day. Now I say this day let your dependency be upon me, and yes, you are strengthened by me. For I say you are not meant to live in fear of the wicked, for I say it is me, the living God, who brings an end to them. And it is me, the living God, who wipes out the ones who seek to devour and destroy my people until they are brought to naught. And I say it is me, the living God, who will cause my people to rejoice once again that it is me that they serve. Now I say this day consider when I, the living God, do give to you the words of life, then you will obey the same, then you can be guided by me. And I say when I give to you the truth and the light upon the path, and you thank me that you can receive of me, then I say you are uplifted in me. And yes, you are given the strength, the truth, the mercy, the hope, and the peace day by day. For I say that I, the living God, absolutely do not withhold any good thing from the ones who will walk uprightly in me. And I say that I will continue to give to my own the truth, the life, the strength, and the purpose that I provide. Now I say this day, be glad that it is me that you can look to. Be glad that it is me that you can believe in and trust. And I say, be thankful each day that you are uplifted, guided, and directed by me. And I say, be thankful each day that you are given the hope and the peace that I alone do bring for am will able. And I say that I'm able to give you tender mercy time and again. Now I say this day that I do not think God to call my people to walk uprightly to continue in repentance that they can be kept in right standing with me. 
For I say in the days of gross wickedness exhibited amongst the sons of men, I say that it is me that you need. That is, you are needy of my mercy, my truth, and my life to be given unto thee. And I say you are needy of rejoicing because it is me that you serve. I say this day be thankful, be thankful, be thankful that you are uplifted, guided, and directed in the truth of life, the blessedness, and the hope of who I am. And I say be thankful that I will guide you forth, that indeed you are kept each day by me. For I say, if you are considering that it is me who does give to you the truth and the light, the mercy and the peace, I say you cannot help but rejoice in my way. For I say that the way that I give is the way that is the life eternal. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to be fretful nor fearful of men in all of the wickedness that they are in. For I say it is me, the living God, who will bring the plots of the wicked to naught. And I say that I will confound them in their own stupid ways. And I say it is me, the living God, who will cause them to be devastated and overwhelmed. For I say it is through me and me alone that men are brought low, when I, the living God, have had enough of them. Now I say this day, when you keep your vision upon me, when you keep on hoping and believing and trusting in me, then I say you are guided forth in my way. And yes, you are given the strength that I will give thee time and again, for I am the one who is able. And I say, when you will partake of me and be living in me, abiding in my way, then yes, you are guided each day. And you are given the blessedness, the truth, the strength, and the hope that can only be found through me. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, do intend that my people will continue steadfastly believing, hoping, and looking to me as the author, the finisher, the beginning, and the end. And I say that I intend that my people would be partaking each day of what it is that I give them, for they are indeed privileged to be serving me. But I say, likewise, I intend that my people would accept their responsibility, accountability to declare my truth and my light, to declare my call to repent to any and all that can hear would obey me. That is, that they can be hearing the truth and be brought into the same. And I say you are not meant to back up from the truth because of the pressures of the times, but I say you are meant to declare with boldness my call to all men to repent. For I say if men do not repent, it is inevitable that they will be consumed in my wrath. And I say if men do not repent, it is inevitable that they will be completely destroyed. But I say they are the ones who beckon to their own bosoms the course of damnation because they refuse me. But I say when my people will close their ears and their eyes to their responsibility, their accountability, then they become a grief unto me. And I say when my people refuse to do what it is that I call them to do, then I say they move into disobedience before me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to disobedience, not at all. But I say that I call you to obey me, to come forth in me, and be ever guided in my way. And I say that I call you to be thankful that it is me you can look to, believe in, and trust day by day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is indeed the way of righteousness revealed, the way that is mercy and truth, and the way that is hope provided. And I say when you are accepting of the way that I give, then of course you are guided forth by me. But I say when you see the fools who reject my counsel, who reject my wisdom, who reject my instruction, I say they are judged as disobedient before me. For I say they are refusing the very way that is my life, my truth, and my mercy. I say this day be glad to be able to be empowered by me, to be strengthened by me, to be kept by me. And I say be thankful that as you obey my desire, which is to see souls redeemed by the declaration of my call, then I say that you are counted worthy of me. And I say, likewise, you will see that it is me, the living God, who will crush the enemy forces that have sought to destroy thee. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is able, therefore I say, keep trusting, believing, and looking to me. For I say, when my people will strive to be in absolute obedience unto me, then I say, there is no weapon that can prosper against them. But I say, when the ones claiming to be mine are living in disobedience, then I say they open the floodgates of enemy forces upon themselves. For I say they are not obeying, therefore I say they are easy prey. But I say when my people will obey, they will find that it is me, the living God, who does turn back the counsel of the wicked upon them. I say be thankful even now that you do not need to be fearful of oppressors, but I say you will live to see them die. And I say you will live to see them overwhelmed by the very evil they have thought to throw upon thee. And I say you will live to be rejoicing always in the newness of life that I provide. 
That is, if you will continue to realize your responsibility and fulfill the same. I say thank me and praise me even now to be serving me, the one true God who remains. It's going to come at us fast and furious. We're going to see judgment in all realms. Isn't that amazing? Five years, Yoshi, the denial. Five years. It's reporting in Vancouver can't be denied. This is an extinction event. Everything dies. Okay, everything dies. And when everything dies, there's nothing left. You know, there's not going to be anything for people to eat. There is an army that is rising up. You need to be a part of it. Soldier up, man up. Make up your mind that you're going to be sold out for Jesus. Don't let the devil punk you. Don't let nobody else make you feel ashamed.